Hi everyone! Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing my very first makeup tutorial. I know so far I've only done the clothing try-on hauls, things like that, but makeup is another one of my huge passions and I have um, grown quite a collection over the years, so I'm really wanting to get into doing um, makeup tutorials, reviews, um, so if there's anything you guys are wanting to see, let me know if there's any new releases you guys want me to try out. Um, I am more than willing to do that. Um, today I do want to start out with the Tati um, Beauty Palette. It's right here, Volume 1. This is her first um, makeup palette. Um, it does have, uh, it is more of a neutral palette. Here's that. It has a huge mirror. It's a, also a very nice quality mirror. And then it has four different um, texture so here's the matte down here at the bottom and then the sequin which is uh, like a matte with like a glitter pressed in and then there's the metallic and then these are pressed glitters which are so pretty it also does have that kind of matte black packaging which does kind of show I don't know if you can see it does have like the fingerprints and stuff on it but you know that doesn't really bother me and then it is like a very sleek palette. Um, so I do think it would be pretty okay for travel. I would maybe worry just a little bit about the pressed glitters, um, if those would um, get everywhere. I'm not really sure, but so far um, I feel like they're staying in the pan really well. So I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Um, but I will get into it and let's see what I can come up with. Today I am going to be starting out doing my face. I know that a lot of people like to do their eye makeup first and then their face makeup. I don't know, for whatever reason, it's just like not my favorite way to do it. Um, if I am super worried about fallout, like if I'm doing like a black smoky eye or something like that, I will do my face first, I mean my eyes first, but I don't know. I'm just not super worried about fallout and I, I feel like I can clean it up if I get any. Um, the pressed glitters, sometimes you can get a little bit of fallout if you're not careful, but like I said, I'm just not super worried about that today. Um, I am going to start out by putting a little bit of oil on my face. I am, I do have a drier skin, especially right now with it being cold and it outside I do get even more dry. So, um, yeah, I would definitely want to skip this step if you have normal to oily skin for sure but and this is just like a, a face oil from the ordinary I'll link it down below it is pretty good and then I am going to use this hydrating hyaluronic acid primer from Colourpop it's their pretty fresh line and I'm going to use a pump of that it kind of smells like coconut which smells nice it is a more hydrating primer which I said I like the more hydrating or luminous primers and then I am going to go in with I, I'm pretty sure this is new if it's not new then I just I guess I haven't seen it but it is the Maybelline dream satin liquid foundation and it does say foundation plus hydrating serum in it and then I'm in the shade 10 porcelain ivy which is the lightest shade because that usually is the case for me and then I just like to pump a few pumps onto the back of my hand. And then I actually like to go in and just place it with my fingers. And this is going to look crazy. But I feel like this is just the way that I feel like my makeup looks the best is when I do it this way. And then I am going to go in with a beauty sponge to blend all this in. Oh, I look so crazy. <laughs> take that down the neck okay and then I am going to use this new color pop beauty sponge which I actually really do like it kind of reminds me a little bit of the real techniques one for some reason I do feel like maybe this one is just like a little bit softer than that one I do already have my eyebrows on just because I feel like I don't know watching other people put their eyebrows on is a little bit boring plus I have to get so close to the mirror 
And then I would say that this foundation is um, kind of a little bit of a lighter coverage, I would say. I do think I'm going to go in just with a little bit more on the areas where I just want to cover up just a little bit. Yeah, like I was saying, um, I do feel like this is a little bit of a lighter coverage foundation, but I also do feel like you can build it up a little bit if you need to, but I actually do prefer a little bit of a lighter coverage foundation just because I like my natural skin to peek through just a little bit. I mostly just want it to kind of counteract some of the redness I have on my cheeks. I do have uh, pretty rosy cheeks. I am going to set my face but just like very 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 lightly. I am going to go in with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Setting Powder and I just like to use just the tiniest bit. I just dump a little bit in the cap, like, and then I just take a, I'm actually using a, a cosmetics brush as well. My husband bought this for me a little while back. I thought that the handle on it was super pretty, but I just use just the lightest bit to set that because I don't want it, my face to be tacky. So it makes my bronzer skip, but at the same time, I don't want to lose that kind of dewiness that that foundation does leave. So I just, just set it very, very lightly. I also don't like to use a ton of powder because my skin is on the drier side. And then I just picked up this new Maybelline City Bronzer. I picked it up in the shade 200, which is like the middle shade. Um, I felt like the first shade, I think it was 100, I felt like that was like really light. I don't know. And I mean, I'm pretty fair and I feel like, I just don't feel like that one would have shown up at all. I don't know. I might have made a mistake. I have not tried this yet. Um, it actually does maybe look like there's like maybe just a hint of, I don't know if you, I'm sure you can't, you can't see. I don't think the camera will pick it up. It might have just like the, just a hint of shimmer in this. It doesn't say if it's matte. I honestly don't really care that much if it's matte or or shimmery. I actually like both. I am just gonna put it in the cheek. It's right here. Just bronze up the skin. This shade is a has a little bit of that. I don't want to say orange because I feel like that sounds bad. Um, but it does kind of have that warmer undertone, so it's definitely more of a bronzer than a contour shade for sure. Yeah, I think I like that color. It's pretty. Um, definitely, like I said, a little bit of a warmer shade. I am going to take just a little bit of my Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Put that just a little bit right there just cool that down just a little bit get that in the hairline don't have that weird scalp line okay then I am just going to take that same powder brush and just make sure everything is blended in all the way now I'm going to go in with highlighter. So I got these two um, Makeup Revolution. They're like a baked highlighter. I got them in the shade Just My Type, which is kind of more of like a, I don't want to say gold, but it does have a little bit of a gold, but also a little bit of a pinky. I don't really feel like you can see that very good. And then this other one is called Dare to Divulge, and this one's more of like a peachy, which I love these color highlighters. And then this is next to it. I don't know, I feel like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the difference. But I'm going to mix a little of both, just on this Real Techniques brush, just highlight the tops of the cheekbones. They are pretty pigmented, I feel like. I can definitely build them up. And then I know not everybody loves the highlighted tip of the nose, but I love it. 
and I don't really feel like this would emphasize texture too bad if that's something you're worried about. Yeah, I really like that. I really like these. They're pretty, and they were super inexpensive. I think they were only like $7. I do think they had other colors, but they didn't have any more at my Ulta. I'm just going to tone that down just a little bit. If you ever feel like you have gone a little bit overboard with the highlight, you can just take your wet sponge and just pounce over that a little bit, and I do feel like it will blend it into the skin a little bit better. I'm going to go in with blush. I'm going to use this NARS Exposed Palette. I'm pretty sure that this is still available. Um, here's what it looks like. Mine is super beat up and gross because I use it every day almost. I am going to use these kind of, I guess it's this way, these bottom shades. I'm going to mix those together. Um, I love blush. And then blush is also like one of the first things I feel like to leave your face, especially mine. And then I do have such like a natural like rosy flush um, and so I do kind of put on a little more blush than maybe some people would because it's going to fade throughout the day and then I like it to cover up my own natural if that makes sense that's probably weird and I just want to go back in with my powder brush and just kind of make sure everything is nice and blended okay now I'm going to go in with the eyes and I am going to use this MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. It's kind of like a beigey, beigey color. It's a little, I would say it's a little darker than my natural, but I feel like it works pretty good. I like to go in with like a very light layer of this. I don't like it to be super heavy on the eyes. can also go in with a brush but I prefer to just do it with my finger I feel like something about the way that the like the warmth of your finger I feel like it for me it feels like it blends a little bit better I also feel like I can control how much I actually get on my eye Okay, now it is time to go in with the Tati Beauty Volume 1. I am so excited for her to come out with more palettes. I do really like this palette. Um, I do wish that there was a like a shade in between this shade and this shade. Because I feel like... I do. I just I wish that there was one shade in between there. And I feel like this would be like a perfect palette for me. So sometimes I do feel like I maybe want to go in with another palette another palette and use like kind of an in-between shade but honestly um I rarely just use one I'm always wanting to pull shades from other palettes I just really like to mix and match formulas and colors things like that so it's kind of a little hard to uh, please me in that way but I feel like this was a great first palette to put out I feel like this is a very like wearable everyday palette that anyone could use but then I also feel like you could get a lot of um uh, like more nighttime looks or holiday looks. I feel like that black row would be a killer um, New Year's Eve look. So I love this. I would definitely recommend people picking this up when it comes back in stock. And I am super excited to see what else she comes out with because I know that Tati is super picky when it comes to makeup and I've always loved her channel and I've always trusted her opinion. So I think anything she makes is probably going to be pretty great. Do any of you guys watch Tati? I love her videos. I have watched her videos pretty much since I first started watching YouTube, so it's been a long time. And I know she has put, she is so crazy. She can put out, sorry, I'm trying to find the brush I wanna use. She puts out so many videos. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she has time for anything else. I'm just gonna go into this kind of bone shade and I'm just gonna set right here I do for some reason my eyeshadow likes to kind of bunch and crease right there in that spot 
And I feel like if I set that right there, it doesn't do that as bad. So I'm just gonna... This is a Sonia Kashuk brush from a million years ago. I, I really liked their brushes. I don't... Do they still sell them? I feel like Target like has redone their whole thing. I don't feel like they have very many brushes anymore. This one is, was like in a weird set I got forever ago. It's honestly kind of a little ugly. <laughs> but it works. Now I want to go in with just a fluffy blending brush. This one is a Morphe 504. And I'm going to go in with that matte soothe color. I'm just going to get that on my brush and then... Um, I would recommend making sure that you tap off the excess just because this is like a pretty soft formula which I think is really nice. I feel like it blends really, really well. And I just like to do, I like to just pick up a little bit at a time and build up very slowly because it's very easy to add more. It's really hard to blend away too much. So. And then I do just like to take another just clean, nothing on it brush just to blend that into the top. I do feel like you can really build this shade up. It looks pretty light in the pan, but I feel like if you just keep layering it, I feel like you can get a pretty... I wish that I was... I am a dexterous. I could use both hands. I think that would be so cool. My sister can do so many things with her left hand. And even my husband, he can do so many things with both hands. And I just cannot. I am very much right-handed. I can do pretty much nothing with my left hand. I swear it just... Unless it involves a two-hand situation, I just cannot do it. Make sure those are both even. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. This is also... Wow, I'm using a lot of Morphe brushes today. This is a Morphe M433. It's one of those brushes that's kind of um, skinny this way, but then when you turn it this way, it's like fatter. And then this is a cleaning brush. It's just uh, very stained. And I'm going to go in with the matte orange uh, story shade and I'm just going to take a little bit of that make sure that I knock the excess off and I'm just going to put that a little bit more precisely into the crease I know some people are super sick of the warm tones but I love them. I'm. It's funny, I'm really not an orange. I don't like to wear orange at all, like as far as clothing goes, but I love orange eyeshadow. I think it is so pretty and I feel like it's very wearable. I think it, a lot of people are pretty intimidated by orange, but I love it. I'm just taking that same like clean-ish now blending brush and just blending that, making sure it's blended. Okay, and I just have been building up that same orange shade forever. I know that it... Just keep blending. Yeah, I really like that. I feel like it's coming off a little bit more orange on camera than it is in person. In person it looks a lot less orange if that makes sense. I mean it's definitely orange but it's 
I don't feel like it's quite as intense in person. It's, I think it's really pretty. I like it. Just make sure that's blended in. Okay, now I'm going to take an even smaller brush. I'm going to take this. Like I said, lots of Morphe brushes today. It seems like that's all the brushes that I have clean right now. This is an M507. It's just like a little tapered brush. And I'm going to take that matte poet shade which is kind of like a kind of like a cranberry shade and I'm gonna put that even deeper into the crease and then I do have hooded eyes so sometimes it does help to look down into a mirror to really get in there This is definitely one of those shades I would make sure to tap off the excess before you go in just because you definitely could get some fallout with this one. And then I'm also just going to pack some of that on the outer. I'm just going to take another brush and I'm going to take a little bit of that orange shade and then I'm just going to very very lightly tap into that same matte cranberry shade and I'm just going to blend between those two so we get a little bit of a softer blend between the two of those. And then I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take a mixture of that matte soothe shade, the, the first transition shade that we used, and just a little bit of that bone shade. And I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and mix those two together. And I'm just going to blend around the edges to blend that a little bit more seamlessly into the skin around the edges here. I do really like a more, I really like a blown out look. So if you guys wanted to, if you're going to recreate this and you don't like such a blown out look, you could take it a little tighter in the crease and stuff like that. But... I really like it to be super blown out. Go back in. Fine. I feel like I lost some of that intensity. And then I am going to go in with this Morphe M562 and it's like a small um, more precise brush. I just I'm going to take it with this same matte poet shade and I'm going to dip into that and then I'm going to dip it just like the teeniest tiniest bit into that black just tracking just like the tiniest bit of that black and I'm going to go into this outer part of the crease bring it down just to deepen that up just a little bit more and then I'm going to go back and forth between that and where did that go? And that's a little bit bigger brush here. I'm just going to go back and forth in between the two. Just to blend out that deeper shade.
sure that's even on both sides. And then I am going to take this a little bit bigger brush and just buff those edges out again. Okay, now I'm going to go in with our lid color. I think I want to try this. I, this is one of the shades I haven't tried yet. This, um, sequin, I mean this metallic, I don't know if you can, the camera's picking it up very good, but it's like a metallic kind of orangey shade. Um, I think I want to try that on the lid. I'm going to try it first with my finger and see how I like it. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can. Let's try it with a wet brush and see if that makes it more foiled. I do think this is pretty just like this. I I definitely think it looks pretty left just like this, but I do think I'm gonna try it and make it a little more foiled. I am using this um ColourPop E3. Just like a, it's like a flat shader brush and I am going to use some MAC Fix Plus just to get my brush wet. And ooh, that's pretty. And then I do have hooded eyes like I said, hooded eyelids so I always do get just a little bit of transfer up there at the top. So you know I just kind of put it there anyways because it's going to end up there anyway. So I just put it up a little higher than my crease. So it's a little more blended throughout the day. And it looks a little more intentional instead of just transfer. Put this other side brush. It has like a I feel like it has a little bit of like a like a a gold glitter in it maybe? Is that what I'm seeing? It's really pretty. I hope the camera's picking it up because it's really pretty. And then I think I'm going to take the other side of the same shader brush and I think I'm going to go into this um, on the Poet, this uh, cranberry shade, the metallic. And I think I'm going to put that here in between. I'm just going to use that to kind of marry those two shades together, which I think looks really pretty. And I just like to flip my brush back and forth between the, the cranberry side and the orange side to blend those together. Okay, now that I have those two metallic shades, kind of blend it together and I'm going to take one of these smaller brushes and just go back in with this matte poet shade just make sure that those are all blended and I'm trying to decide if I want to do some glitter I think I do so I'm going to take this just like a tiny, tiny bit of this glitter on my finger. I don't know if you can see. It's just like, I'm talking just the tiniest bit. I just want to dab. Yeah, I just want to dab that in. And I do feel like you get less fallout if you kind of place your finger and then drag. And I haven't had any problems with it lifting up the the product you have below. Um, so I feel like that's the best way to do that. And then I'm going to take some of the sequence, I mean not the sequence, the glitter shadow in the poet row, the pink. And I'm going to put a little bit of that over that metallic cranberry shade. Do the same on the other side.
I don't feel like I got a ton of fallout. I definitely have a little, but very easily cleaned up with some tape and some translucent powder. So that's all I'm going to do on the top lid. Now let's move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to start out with this um, Soothe Matte Shade. Does anybody... I feel like does anybody look super great when they're doing their lower lash line? Because I feel like... It's such a weird... feeling that I just feel like I have to I have to pull a face I'm going to take some of that orange shade I'm just going to bring that down here as well. And I love a blown out lower lash line. I think it's so pretty. You can use a glitter glue for these pressed glitters as well, but I actually don't really feel like they need one. I feel like I haven't had a ton of fallout throughout the day. I feel like they stay pretty good. Now I'm going to take some of that burgundy poet shade in the matte. Okay, I'm going to take this little tiny pencil brush. Um, it's actually a dual ended brush, which are not usually my favorite, but this is like a dose of cosmetics. I mean, dose of cosmetics, geez. A dose of colors. Um, little brush that came in one of those little I think the one I have is the blushing berries or something like that but this little pencil brush is perfect size so I'm going to take a little bit of that matte brown ritual shade which I have not used um, in this tutorial but I'm going to take just a little bit of that and a little bit of that poet shade and mix them together I'm just going to take that closer to the lash line and just smoke that out and it is the other side actually is pretty nice for kind of blending out this Now I'm going to take another Morphe brush. Um, this is the M49. It's just like a small little... I need to buy more of these because I actually really like this brush. And this is one of my favorites to use for the inner corner. And I'm going to use the Aura Metallic shade. It is really pretty for the inner corner. And I really like a bright inner corner. You can also use whatever shade you use to highlight. I feel like that looks really pretty as well. I'm just going to put just a little bit the highest part of my brow bone. And then I do think I might want to wet another small little pointer brush. Use a little bit of that same orange shade we used on the lid, and I think I want to put a little bit of that just a little bit right here on the inner tear duct. Yeah, I feel like that looks really pretty. Yeah, I really like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take this Urban Decay Alkaline Eyeliner Pencil 
And I know this is creepy. I think I'm gonna go closer. I don't think I'm gonna go out of frame because this is creepy. Okay, so yeah, I did just go in with this Urban Decay Alkaline um, Waterproof Long-Lasting Eyeliner. I'm gonna put that in the waterline on the upper and lower lashes. Oh, does that make anyone else's eyes water like crazy? Because it, it makes mine water. Ooh. And then I am going to take this It Cosmetics Superhero Liner. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I'm just going to do a really small line on my upper lashes. But I am not going to show that because I have to get so close to my mirror that you guys wouldn't be able to see what I was doing anyways. Okay, so I just finished doing my, just my teeny tiny, um liner um, on my upper lashes just to darken out just a little bit and I did like I said I did just use this um it cosmetic superhero liner which I really like this liquid liner it's it's and I feel like it's lasted a really long time so I do really like that now I'm going to use some mascara I think I'm going to use my roller lash mascara and then I'm just going to do a of mascara um I have to do the open super wide even the mouth open sometimes especially on the lower lashes I remember when I was younger I used to always tease my mom because she would have to open her mouth while she did her mascara and I thought it was so funny but I swear it's impossible not to do or at least for me I'm not normally a fan of these like plasticky brushes I usually like the bigger fluffier ones but I feel like as far as plastic brushes go I feel like this one's Pretty decent. And then I also, I am high maintenance and I like to go in with another mascara. This one is the um, Essence Lash Paradise. I mean, not Lash Paradise, that's the other one. Um, the Lash Princess mascara. And I just like to go in and do. For some reason I just really like to mix mascaras and this one does have like that more fluffier brush this one's a little more tapered and this is like a little bit of a drier formula and I just I like the way it makes my lashes look and then you could go in with false lashes but honestly I don't really wear false lashes that often. I think that they're so pretty, but they kind of really drive me crazy. So I am not going to do that today. Okay, I'm going to use this Tarte um, lip liner, and it is in called um, Later Gram. And this is actually what I was wearing. I wear this a lot, actually. I was wearing this in my last try-on haul, and I had somebody comment below and ask me what the lip liner was, so I thought maybe I would use it again on camera. You could go in with a nude lip, but honestly, I, this is like my version of nude. Honestly, this is like kind of a brownie mauve shade. It's coming off a little more berry on screen, on camera than I feel like it is in person, but I'm just not really like a nude, a nude lipstick kind of person. And then I am going to go in with some MAC Fix Plus. And that dry. Just to blend all those powders together. And then if you did get any fallout, um, you can use tape or um, uh, some powder to kick that off. But I feel like it looks pretty good. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like this? I think this would be such a pretty um, Thanksgiving eyeshadow look. 
Um, and you could skip the glitter if you wanted it to be a little less bam. I don't know what you guys do for Thanksgiving. Do you guys... I, I just always still like to get kind of glam and put on lots of makeup, but I honestly usually just uh, sit on the couch with my family and then um, go shopping. Do you guys go Black Friday shopping? Is that something you guys do? Um, we don't do like a ton. I We usually just do like Target, Ulta, stuff like that. Um, what are you guys wanting to get for Black Friday? Have you guys seen any deals yet? Um, let me know if you, there's any good deals that you guys are going to check out. And then let me know if there's anything you guys want me to grab so I can review, show with you guys. I'm really hoping that uh, ColourPop does a good Black Friday sale because there are a lot of things on ColourPop's website right now that I really want to buy. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this look. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on other um, things you guys want me to try, other looks you guys want me to do. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye!